all right let's get back to the ingredients for our power green juicing today um i am not going to run through a juicer so i'm just going to do the grinding today with my vitamix so anyways i call this a power green juicer over here i have the organic zucchini organic carrot and also organic kale and i'm going to also use organic baby spinach i love this box it just goes off for like three days for our whole family because we use a lot of greens and i'm also going to show you guys my little garden about basil mint and wheatgrass let's go outside okay here is my little garden it's still on the grow this is my mint pot over here it is organic by the way and i have the curry leaves it's just sprouting and uh, here, over here is the wheatgrass i'm so excited about the wheatgrass i had a lot of them since we are juicing every day with our green smoothies and green juices we are using a lot and over here is my basil this grown pretty tall but um, yeah I I got this one when it was very very young so uh, yeah it grows pretty wild in the it grows pretty wild in Texas as we get a lot of sunlight over here and we are going to use all three of them in our recipe today first I'm going to pick up some um, basil maybe uh, a string or two of basil and then a handful of wheatgrass and we are going into a handful of mint for our power green recipe let's get started okay first things first i'm just going to work on my kale we don't need the stem actually i'm going to throw off the stem i'm just going to put the leaves the reason i'm using a stainless steel bowl is to wash them off i don't like plastic bowls because of the bpa and all of that so i'm just going to just take the leaves You can also buy them in a plastic bag, but I try to do as much as possible with the fresh leaves. So now I'm going to take my spinach. You can take like a one cup of each or one handful of each. So it's pretty neat. And I'm going to go ahead and peel off my zucchini and carrots. throw the peel I compost it for uh, growing my garden And I have all of these from the garden. I'm just going to throw it in and I'm going to give it a good rinse and I'll be back. Okay, here we go. My blender is ready and I'm just going to start putting everything, all my wonderful greens. Sometimes the spinach that you buy from Costco or anywhere, it says it's triple washed. But I still wash it and rinse it and I soak it for like 15 to 20 minutes in lukewarm water or even in room temperature water, which is great. So if... Uh, if you have so if there is any germs it may remove it and oxidize it okay here we go i'm just going to add one full glass of water okay let's start blending it I 
share one quick tip with this Vitamix. The way we have to use it is always go on low. First start it and then go like from 1, 2, 4, 5, 6 all the way here and then go because many have burned to their uh, Vitamix uh, just because of that this is by the way $375 machine and if you only get it on sale but the original price is $500 so you don't want to burn it so always follow this simple step and my green is ready I'm just going to go ahead and transfer into my mason jar take all these juices or greens and store them in the fridge for a later time if you are going to juice throughout the day but I like to drink it fresh so I make it fresh and I drink it throughout the day here we go. All right, here we go. My mason jar is here. So it measures up to 32 ounces over here. Let's see how much we got. Here we go. Yep. It's a little over than 32 ounces, which is more than two cups. And here we go, guys. My green is ready for serving. I'm just going to go ahead and close it. Uh, so uh, whenever I am uh, hungry or thirsty, I will just go ahead and have my greens. Happy cleansing! Hi.